Assalamu alaikum and I welcome you all to Mashal Tariq Knowledge Venture channel. In this video, we will solve questions from chapter 2, exercise 2a. Chapter name is Further Sets of Book Maths D4. Question number 12. It is given that a universal set consists of x such that my from minus 20 to 25 and the minus 20 points minus 20 and 25 are included in this set. Okay. And A representing um, from minus 20 to 25 but uh, minus 20 and 25 uh, points are not included. Okay. Uh, for B um, from minus 5 to 7 but uh, minus 5 is not included. After uh, uh, minus 5 till 7 inclusive and for the set C it is from 7 to 15 and 15 uh, is not included write down expressions for the following illustrating each solution on a number 9 so if we draw number 9 for question number 12 part 1 okay for question number 12 part 1 both representing numbers from minus 20 to 25 but if we want to represent the universal set we will end it with the filled dots representing this is a universal set but for this we have to um, ends uh, open. Why? Because this open or unfilled dots representing not included. So what will be the answer for part 1? Part 1 will be minus 20 and 25 because everything is included other than only uh, minus uh, 20 and 25. And uh, so the answer of A complement is minus 20 and 25. Now for part 2, B intersection C. So we have to first represent B and C on the number line. So let's draw a number line representing. So we need to show from minus 5 to 15. Minus 5 to 15. And we need point seven also so 7 take somewhere here okay now first draw a line from minus 5 to 7 my for b minus 5 will be unfilled but 7 will be filled so this is representing set b now for uh, set c is from 7 included 7 filled till 15 not included so what is the inter, uh, not included or uh, unfilled so this is point 15 but this is representing set c so what is the answer of b intersection c so there is only one point which is common what is it is 7 so b intersection c is equals to 7 now the third point what is the third point we need to find out b union c what b union c so if we find out just have a look over here so if we find out b union c it will be from this to this but not including these two points okay but not so how can we write b union c as b union c is equals to x such that it represent from minus 5 to 15 okay minus 5 to 15 now the last one what is the last one we need to find out c intersection a c c intersection a complement and we have already found out what is a complement a complement uh, have only two point which is minus 20 and 25 it is minus 20 it is 25 so a is having only two points this is a complement now what about c c is from c is from 7 to 15 c is from 7 to 15 7 included 15 not included so this is c now what is required required is c intersection a so what points 
आर कॉमन इन द सेट्स ऑफ सी एंड ए ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट हैविंग ओनली टू पॉइंट्स व्हेन सी इज अ सेट ऑफ पॉइंट्स फ्रॉम सेवन टू फिफ्टीन सो देर आर नो कॉमन पॉइंट सी इंटरसेक्शन ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट इट इज अ नल सेट नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टीन सच दैट एक्स वाई लाइज ऑन द लाइन वाई इज इक्वल्स टू टू ओवर फाइव एक्स माइनस सेवन एंड बी इज इक्वल्स टू एक्स वाई सच दैट एक्स वाई लाइज ऑन द लाइन वाई इज इक्वल्स टू ए एक्स माइनस बी इफ नंबर ऑफ ए इंटरसेक्शन बी इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो सो इट मीन्स दैट देर इज नो कॉमन पॉइंट बिटवीन दीज लाइन्स सो देर इज नो इंटरसेक्शन सो दे आर नॉट इंटरसेक्टिंग सो वी कैन टेक इट दे दे कुड बी पैरल स्टेट द वैल्यू ऑफ ए एंड गिव अ पॉजिट that point a is the set of points lying on this line with in with slope 2 over 5 and y intercept b is equals to minus 7 and p is lying b are the set of points lying on the line ए एक्स माइनस बी सर्च दैट सो देर आर नो कॉमन पॉइंट्स अमंग दैम सर्च दैट ए इंटरसेक्शन बी इज इक्वल टू जीरो सर्च दैट ए इंटरसेक्शन बी इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो ए बी ए बी कुड बी पैरल टू ए सो द वैल्यू ऑफ ए could be 2 over 5 but hence there is no common point among a and b so b could be any value other than so b cannot be 7 now question number 14 If a and b are disjoint sets such that n of a is equals to eighty four, n of b is equals to sixteen, find n of a intersection b and n of a union b. If question number fourteen, if both of them are disjoint, it means the set a and b are like this. There are no common points between them. So uh, we can find out the um, for part. One, if we need to find out uh, n of a union b, b. So there are no common points because the given is uh, um, it said that these two are disjoint sets. So it it will be a null set. Now for finding a union b, it will be n of a plus n of b. n of a is equals to eighty four plus n of b is equals to sixteen. So n of a union b is equals to hundred. Now question number fifteen. If a is a subset of b and n of a is equals to forty two and n of b is equals to seventy five, find a intersection b and A union B. So A is a subset of B. For question number fifteen, it is like this. If this is B, it will be A, B and A. So for n of A intersection B, it will be n of A. Okay, it will be n of A, which is forty two. For part B, n of a union B, n of a union B will be total of B, n of B, which is seventy five. So, n of a means a intersection B because a is the part of B when a is a subset of b now for a union b possibility is this that a is already lying within b so b is the number the the number of uh, the number of elements will be equal to b 75 now question number 16 This question number sixteen. If n of a is equals to p and n of b is equals to q and n of a union b is equals to r, find n of a intersection b in terms of p, q, and r. We so apply the formula in order to find out 
द वैल्यू ऑफ ए इंटर सेक्शन बी ओके ए इंटर सेक्शन बी वी नो दिस इज इक्वल्स टू आर पी प्लस क्यू माइनस एन ऑफ ए इंटर सेक्शन बी एन एन ऑफ ए इंटर सेक्शन बी इज इक्वल्स टू पी प्लस क्यू माइनस आर so this is all for today in the next video we will solve from question number 17